Now we've got us a new head coach. I'm going to turn to Charlie Cobb to um, say a few things about that. Thanks. Good morning, guys. Um, I want to share a couple of comments about the search and then introduce our new football coach. Um, first, I want to thank Dr. Becker, Barth, Partha Sarathi, Daniel Parker, Doug Justice, and Rick Beasley for their tireless assistance in this process. As I share with our candidates, it's great to be the director of athletics at Georgia State when your president expects to win, and he wants to win the right way. Secondly, uh, I want to thank coaches Curry and Miles for building a fan base from which our new coach can build from in much the same manner that Coach Hunter has done with our men's basketball program. Specific to the search process, there was tremendous interest in the job from across the country. We had over 150 people who were qualified candidates for the job. Uh, our group, we decided we wanted to move efficiently, but we wanted to find the right person. Over the past week, we interviewed 11 coaches face to face. We developed three basic characteristics that we were looking for in a new head coach. First, we wanted a leader who would bring positive energy to our football program. Secondly, we wanted someone sincerely committed to the academic performance and social development of our young men in the football team and someone who was eager to integrate with the Georgia State community. And third, as I skip down to the next page, we wanted someone committed to aggressively recruiting Atlanta in the state of Georgia. I'm incredibly confident we found that person in Sean Elliott. He is a winner, first and foremost. I'm fortunate that our paths crossed 11 years ago at Appalachian State. It didn't take long for me to be impressed with his coaching style, his maturity, and love for competition, especially with the game of football. He has the gift of positive coaching. When you take some time in your own personal journey today and check out social media, see what his former players are saying about him. It's incredible. His energy, his passion will inspire the Panther family. I have no doubts. In every job, there are always good days and bad days. Today is one of those great days. Um, it's with extreme confidence that I get to introduce a genuine man of character to be the next head football coach at Georgia State University, Coach Sean Elliott. Wow. <laughs> what a day. What a day. Um, first off, I just want to say how excited I am to be here, to represent Georgia State University, football program, fine young men that's on that team, the students of this great university, uh, the staff, the administration. Uh, it's just a tremendous honor, tremendous honor. Um, I just want you to know I'm not going to pull out a piece of paper and do a lot of reading, kind of like Charlie Cobb did over here. I'm a guy that kind of speaks from the heart and, and, uh, and just kind of lets my emotions roll. But uh, just a tremendous uh, amount of pride that I have right now. Um, to start this off, I just would love to uh, thank my wife, uh, Summer Elliott, Madden, my daughter, Max. Uh, you know, without those guys, the support, you just, you got to have it in this profession. And I just uh, truly just want to thank them. I love them to death. Uh, President Becker, uh, just in the short time that we've had the opportunity to spend with you, uh, I knew from the start this was a man that I wanted to work for. I could tell he knew his sports, knew exactly what he wanted to do. He wanted to win, and he wanted to win quickly. And uh, just as the que his questions, our comfortable uh, nature around one another, it was fantastic, fantastic. I just want to say thank you as well. Thank you. Charlie Cobb, appreciate it. Uh, like he said 11 years ago, we crossed paths uh, in somewhat of a similar deal. Uh, him coming in as the new AD at Appalachian State, uh, he had a vision. Uh, great mind frame of what he wanted to do and where he wanted to go, and I was right on track with it. Uh, tremendous man and uh, great family, Lindsay and, and the kids. Uh, just happy to be back with you guys. Happy to be back. So thank you, Charlie. Appreciate that. Uh, 
you know, it's, 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 a, it's a process in getting to this point when you take over as a head football coach. You come across many, many fine coaches that are instrumental in your development, and uh, I've come across a few that are, that are fantastic. Uh, so without saying, Jerry Moore, the head coach at Appalachian State University for many years, uh, was kind of my mentor, my father, so to speak. Uh, when I went to Boone, North Carolina as a player, he instilled the work ethic, uh, uh, everything you can imagine, faith, family, football, academics. Uh, it's just, it, was, it was fantastic. Steve Spurrier, everybody probably knows Steve Spurrier. Hall of Fame coach, I, I kind of kid all the time, I can walk down the street to the College Football Hall of Fame and talk to my two me mentors, and Jerry Moore and Steve Spurrier. So that's a, that's a good collection of, of two fine coaches that I can look back and reflect on. Uh, coach Will Muschamp, uh, that I just recently uh, left from South Carolina, I want to thank him as well. It's a great opportunity to work under him, see his guidance and his focus. And it uh, really was, a, was an honor to be retained there at South Carolina after being the interim head coach. That uh, was a fantastic year of experience and something that I will always value. The Georgia State family, guys, uh, I'm, so, I'm so proud to be here. I think we've got a, a, a focus and an energy that uh, we're going to have to create and move forward to make this football program as, as great as it can be. I, I think we have a, a vision with, I call him, I'm going to start calling him Coach Cobb because I'm sure he's going to have a lot of suggestions with Coach Cobb over here. <laughs> Uh, but the future's bright. That Georgia State stadium that we're fixing to move into and pack it out every single week and get the energy and the focus, uh, I'm telling you, it's coming. We're going to bring it. We're going to bring it with hard recruiting. We're going to bring it with, with effort and enthusiasm. We're going to attack every single day as if it's our last. And I know that's real easy to say, but that's the truth. Uh, you know, people talk about vision, vision, vision. I, I talk about now and where we have to what we have to be doing right now. Uh, I, I look and see today, and uh, I'll wake up tomorrow and see tomorrow. Uh, we're going to take it one step at a time, but with a few players that I've had in here, guys, I just want to thank you for coming and uh, showing your support. There, there's a bright future ahead of us. There's a, there's a bright future, but it, it's going to take a lot of hard work, a lot of discipline, and a lot of, a lot of effort. There's going to be some tough times. There's going to be some some hard times, there's going to be some great times, but at the end of the day, you're going to look at it and you're going to respect it, and, uh, and we're going to find a way to win these games, and we're going to pull out uh, some unbelievable experiences uh, during y'all's careers. So, so thank you very much. I know you're probably wondering uh, uh, about offensive and defensive philosophy. You know, that's probably the easiest question that everyone has on their minds, but uh, to put it uh, real bluntly, we're going to try to score a lot of points and hold people to a <laughs> Uh, a few points. So, <laughs> as long as we're doing that, you know, I could have went uh, traditional coach and said, "Yeah, we're going to be spread offensively and on defense. We're going to be multiple in in our our defensive fronts." I could have said all that, but uh, you know, let's be serious about it. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do our best to score as many as we can and stop these guys. And that's what we're, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. We're gonna hire a solid foundation in our coaching staff that's gonna be uh, well respected in the community, well respected here in the great state of Georgia, because we know how important the great state of Georgia is to athletics and football here. We're going to go out and we're going to attack with that staff, the, the high school coaches in this state, and try to bring the very, very best that we can to represent our fine university. It is going to be a hard experience. It's going to be a tough experience. But it is going to be an experience that we're all going to go out together and we're going to have that much fun and pride when we all see it come to where we need it to be. But it is truly, truly an honor to be sitting up here in front of all of you right now. It is, uh, without a doubt, other than probably my kids and my wife, what a day. What a day. I know uh, there's some uh, games going on in the Georgia Dome, President mm -hmm. Charlie. And uh, we're going to hit the ground running. I'm going to spend some time over there mingling throughout those high school coaches and seeing some ball games uh, this afternoon and into this evening. But I want you to know we're going to attack this great state of Georgia. We're going to work hard, and we're going to be uh, – we're going to put something on the field in the classroom, socially, athletically, 
to make everyone here at Georgia State proud. And with that being said, we're going to hit the ground running and go Panthers. Sean, how much do you feel like the experience last year um, being the interim coach kind of helped you help prepare you for this moment? Well, what it did was uh, it helped me prepare in the sense that uh, expect the unexpected. You know, at one moment I was an offensive coordinator, coordinator and offensive line coach at about 8.30, 9 o'clock at night, and then at 12.05 the next morning I was the head coach at the University of South Carolina. So... Uh, there was a lot of great experiences that uh, will lead me to become a better leader, better head coach. Uh, it was a tremendous honor, one that I did not take lightly, and a lot of experiences that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use to build this, this program where it needs to be. Rashad Milligan up the signal. Uh, coach Elliott, so, uh, you know, a bunch of people on Twitter, you know, Connor Shaw and Patrick DeMarco, they are very positive about your hiring care. You seem like a very likable guy. How do you use that likableness, I guess, if that's a word, uh, to going into recruiting and getting the best guys in Atlanta and the state of Georgia? Let me tell you, it's all about relationships. Uh, you just ask yourself, one of the most important things you do is uh, when you make that decision to get married, you better like that young lady. <laughs> and, uh, and let me tell you, when we hit the streets and, and we go out to these high schools, we've we got to develop relationships with these high school coaches and these, these student athletes that they want to come, that there's a, a, a sense of, uh, of a friendship, of uh, someone that they want to be a part of. I want to make them understand that, uh, hey, we're more than just a football coach. We're more than a football program. We're, we're about relationships. We're about building you better as a, as a husband, a father, a man, about their future. Uh, you call it likable. There, there's some of my players who probably didn't like me at certain times, <laughs> uh, but they all respect me at the end of the day, and that's 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 how we're going to go in and sell it. People say I'm likable, you know, that, that's a great thing. But what I am, I'm fair, and I think that's what they're looking for. Just to kind of follow up on that, what did it mean to you to see that positive response from from so many of your former players? Well, you know, it's, it's humbling because, uh, you know, guys like Patrick DeMarco, you know, when I came in at uh, South Carolina in 2010, Patrick DeMarco was a fullback, which he is here with the Atlanta Falcons. And uh, I don't know if you know any of my background, but we didn't utilize a fullback all that much while I was at Appalachian State. So I, when I rolled in there, I looked at him and I said, Patrick, I know you're six foot and 230 pounds, but you're a tight end now. So go, go learn how to put your hand on the ground and line up on the line of scrimmage. But it's amazing just to have the feedback from those guys those guys, you know, everyone would come across uh, somehow, some way. We try to make a difference in their life. And uh, just to see those things come back on social media and the phone calls just lets you know you did. Coach, I know it's just the beginning of your tenure here, but have you put any thought into retaining any of the coaches from the current Georgia State staff? And if so, who would it be? Well, I've, I've put some thought into it. We're going to actually have a meeting uh, today. And uh, we're going to sit down and discuss some, some options and some various things. But, uh, you know, after we go through there, I think, you know, first of all, you've got to get face-to-face -face and, and uh, have a conversation before you can move forward with those types of situations. But uh, we do have a meeting scheduled this afternoon to take care of that. Are there any current South Carolina coaches or former South Carolina coaches you think you might reach out to? Well, I called Coach Spurrier to see if he'd be my offensive coordinator. <laughs> Did he say he missed me? <laughs> and uh, he, he asked if he could come uh, just on Saturdays, and I said, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, there's, there's a lot of people that I've reached out to, and there's a lot of great coaches uh, that have reached out to me as well. Um, I'm going to do my due diligence and go through those names. And, you know, it's not going to be a hurrying process to – to hire a staff. It's about having the good, the, the guys that you're comfortable with, that, that trust you, and you have trust in them. Great recruiters. 
Uh, so we've got to go in and, and do evaluations. See, yes, there's some guys in mind. There's some guys from, from the staff in mind as well. But uh, uh, you'll, you'll know that soon enough. Coach, did you uh, talk about uh, the new opportunity with Coach Muschamp? And if so, what, uh, what advice did he give you coming in? Well, you know, we, we discussed it uh, briefly. Um, he knew uh, from my time in interim as the interim head coach at South Carolina that that was something that I was wanting to, to do. And uh, some couple other scenarios came about, so we discussed the, the opportunity of being a head coach one day. Uh, be yourself, you know. So many, so many people uh, try to fake their way in this business and, and, and move forward, you know. Just be yourself. Go out there. Let, let people see you, who you are, you know. Don't, don't hide behind something. So uh, that's probably the best advice. Don't change who you are. Coach, uh, the players, the current players here, they seem to be very vocal about supporting their current coaching staff. How important is that going to be in the, the process of hiring your own staff? How important is their support for the current staff and me hiring my staff or our staff? Well, I'm going to do what's best for this university and this football program, and that's how our hiring process is going to go great recruiters that can teach great fundamentals and teach the great game of football. I believe our, our football players, when I sit down and, and they understand the hiring process, they want guys that can develop them as players, men, uh, academically, athletically. They want the very best that they can, they can get. And uh, that's what we're going to try to do if it's someone off the staff. But we're going to try to give them the best opportunity to be successful. So I think once they understand that situation, what we're trying to do and move this program forward, they're going to be in support of our decisions going forward. Charlie, can you just talk a little more about kind of what separated Sean from the other candidates? I think you've, uh, you see part of it today. Um, when we set out to find someone with great energy, somebody who's going to energize our program, um, and you'll see it when you watch him coach and you watch the, the staff that he puts together. Um, I think it's important, at least it was for me, in, in walking through this process, the, the period of time he got to be the interim coach at South Carolina. I mean, it, it's a pressure cooker being a coach in the SEC. And you watch how they handle adversity. And, you know, it's easy, it's easy to handle situations when everything's, you know, great and, and, and wonderful. It's, it's handling adversity and to be thrown a curve, um, to be, you know, one day, as he mentioned, he was a position coach, and then the next day, he's, he's the head coach with all the responsibilities and all the things that come with it. Uh, I think that learning curve, that learning process, um, I would venture any, any head coach in any sport would love to have that opportunity to do that internship, if you will, um, prior to being, being, you know, running their own show for, for real for the first time. Um, I know I would have appreciated it, you know, in, in the role of being an athletic director because so many things come at you from so many different angles. Uh, and then it, it didn't hurt that, that, you know, years ago we had a chance. I had a chance to watch him when he was a young coach and obviously followed his career at South Carolina. And, and uh, you know, you see it from a distance. But uh, we did a tremendous amount of research on a number of guys. And, and part of it is the beauty of the Internet, frankly. You can see how guys coach. You can see how they handle themselves with the media. You can hand, see how they handle themselves with their kids. You can read about them. Um, you can really study and research. And so – Really felt like at the end it was it was one of those things that it, it, it came pretty clear to me and, and and obviously a lot of times you go with your gut you go with your instincts you go with where where you are um, when you make decisions like this so um, a, a tremendous man of character a tremendous man uh, who loves the game and loves the kids and uh, you know it's 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 an awesome you know it's an awesome time for him it's an awesome time for me to to really be able to to, to offer that opportunity to somebody. Charlie Cobb, uh, a few people have criticized um, this move as you're kind of trying to hire your buddy, sure. you know, because your past relationship. What, what do you think, like Elliot, you know, when you made this hire, to explain to those critics, what would your response be? 
Uh, first and foremost, uh, don't do this job if you don't want to have to deal with criticism. Um, it's a part of it. Many times it's uninformed, um, and so you have to uh, allow that to happen. Tom Lewis I would consider to be a great friend. I wouldn't hire him to be the football coach at Georgia State, although he thinks he probably ought to be. Uh, <laughs> and, cer and certainly based on the emails and the, and the text messages I get on Saturdays and Sundays, uh, he thinks he should be the, the head, the football coach. Actually, he thinks he ought to be the basketball coach as well, um, if you really get down to it. Um, you know, I think I, uh, I value my, my position with this university. I, I value my own career that uh, I'm going to find the most qualified person I can to fill any number of roles in our department. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, as I mentioned earlier in, the, in, the, in, the, uh, in my remarks, um, we interviewed a bunch of people for this job. And uh, so it, it's, it's clearly not something that, you know, at the end of the day, you know, people can have their own opinions. I can't change that. Um, I'm okay with that. Uh, the results come from, you know, what goes forward. And, uh, and I'm pretty confident that this guy and the staff he puts together is going to represent this university the way, the way we want it done. And by the way, we're not buddies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who told you that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I was going to say, just, just because you know somebody doesn't mean you go eat dinner with them every weekend, but that's, yeah, it's, it's, it's another story. So. Yeah, but two of you are both fr from South Carolina, and South Carolina barbecues are religion. Do you eat the same kind of barbecue? <laughs> I'm not sure. I eat all kinds, so though. <laughs> it's just me. That's the politically correct answer. <laughs> Congratulations, Coach. Uh, you talked about having balance. You wanted to be a team that scored a lot and a team that stopped a lot of people. But uh, sometimes coaches get a, a moniker of if they're offensive-minded or defensive-minded coach. How would you best describe your coaching style as to what side of the ball you may look in last when you're at a meeting or you, you may be considered being while you're here at Georgia State? Well, to tell you the truth, I think that's one of the best uh, questions that I've, I've received all day. Uh, you know, I, I played defense, high school, college. I was a linebacker, defensive end, rush in, uh, coach defense. Started out as a linebacker coach, moved to the defensive line. Then I moved over to tight ends. Then I took over the O-line. Uh, I'm, I'm very well balanced. I see both sides of the ball very, very well. Uh, I have an impact where I can go in and make suggestions, whether it's at halftime or whether it's on Sunday during a staff meeting. So. You know, I'm, I'm going to have a hands-on approach in all aspects of our football program. Uh, but boy, to tell you the truth, we're going to be tough. We're going to be physical. We're going to be a little bit mean, uh, a little bit of nasty. Uh, and uh, we're going to go do our best. We're going to play with great effort, great effort. If there's one thing that, that probably, you know, anybody had said about me growing up or playing this great game of football is, man, he lays it on the line. And at the end of the day, when you watch our football team practice, whether it's a winter conditioning drill, whether it's a two-a-day practice in August, whether it's out there in Georgia State Stadium, opening that thing up next fall, they're going to know that we play with great effort and great energy and great enthusiasm. So whether that means running the football, passing the football, stopping them in an odd front, maybe a zone pressure or two with a two-man coverage, I'm not sure. But we're going to put a great, great, enthusiastic, hardworking, disciplined football team out there. Hi, Coach. I'm Susan Lambros with the Panther Athletic Club Board. A lot of us are here today and excited. Um, and we're working hard to uh, build our membership to provide scholarships and fan support for the games. And I know that, I think I know that the Atlanta, the North Georgia area at least, was part of your recruiting area for USC. And so I'm not surprised to know that you're going to the games today and tomorrow. My question is, the student, the athletes whom you were scouting out perhaps for USC, uh, when you go to take a look at them, if you were to talk to them, how would you convince them now if they were set on going to USC or another program to come to Georgia State? Because we feel like there's great talent in the state of Georgia and would love to see more Georgia men on our team. 
Yeah. Well, you you got to talk about two different football programs, of course. Uh, you got to look at where the football programs are, and uh, the, the cities in which the uh, two universities are located in, the academic achievements of both universities, uh, the head coach, uh, the position coaches, opportunity for playing time, uh, doing things. I think one of the greatest things that you can sell about Georgia State football. Let's do things that's never been done before here. Let's, let's go win the Sun Belt. Let's go attack that first bowl game and get that win. Let's move forward. When you walk out of this program, I want people to say, hey, you were the first to do this. You were the first to do that. Not a guy that's already done it. You're not following a group of men that have, that's already done it, and the fans have become of custom of that. So let's go do a lot of first here. And let's make a name for ourselves. When you walk around the great state of Georgia and people remember you, hey, you played at Georgia State. Y'all won that bowl game. I remember that day on that kick or that pass. Uh, let's make memories. Let's make memories. So I think that's a pretty easy sell. And let me just say this. We're not going to have to sell it. Can I make one last statement? I just want to thank everyone for coming. Uh, this is not uh, going to be easy. We need everyone involved. Everyone that's, that's, that's you know, taking the time to step in here today to support this cause, and I really appreciate it. But, uh, you know, I hope this thing goes out. I know there's some cameras here, but uh, high school coaches, uh, we're going to do our best to bring the great state of Georgia, the, the student athletes here, give you an opportunity to come and play. Uh, other states as well, but uh, just let, just let let you know we're going to get the job done. We're going to come out there and we're going to we're going to do it. Great student athletes, and we're going to make the Georgia State University very very proud. Thank you.